Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Adam and this is a P3D how-to video. So have you ever had it where you've got a scenery, you've got an add-on, an airplane maybe, and you've installed it into your sim and you've loaded up your sim and it's completely crashed your sim. And you've had to uninstall everything and start all over again. Well, it's happened to me a couple of times, and I tell you, it's not fun having to reinstall everything from scratch. Uh, it takes a long time, because the more you build up, the longer it takes to uninstall and reinstall. And it could all just be for one lousy add-on, one plane or one scenery that just wasn't compatible with your system, or changed a setting that completely spiced your sim. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can literally sidestep the crashing of the sim when you install a new add-on and protect your sim um, but still get to use the add-on and basically what we're going to do is we're going to create a testing version of p3d to use now disclaimer right now we're not going to be installing a second copy on another hard drive or another computer to test out first, okay? Everything's gonna be done on the C drive where your main simulator is going to be and it's not going to interfere with your main simulator if you follow the steps provided. Another disclaimer is you need at least 50 gig of free space in order to do this and that is 50 gig other than what other free space you have, okay? So on my main C drive, um, that is where my simulator lives. I don't have it off on another hard drive. I have it on my main C drive. And I have always, at all times, at least 200 gig free on that hard drive. And that's because P3D, when it runs, it likes to cache temporary folders. And if you have the space for them, it will cache it on the same hard drive and it will help make your sim run smoother and have better performance. Now, if you don't have the space for these files, it won't actually cache them and you'll find that you'll get laggy frames and stuttery performance. Um, so I always have 200 gig at least free on my main C drive and on my other drives is where I store all my add-ons that I will load into the sim. So the sim is run from the main C drive and then everything else is stored on another drive and import it into the sim upon request so you need at least 50 gig on top of that okay and basically what we're going to do is we're going to create a copy of p3d version 4 and it works with any version of p3d really um, for testing okay and i'm going to show you exactly how to do that so what you need to do is go into your program files first okay now i've already done it so this was my uh, original uh, P3D folder, and it's got all my add-ons, either Orbex, my mesh, uh, planes. Some of them are in here. Some of them I actually keep on another drive as well, and they're sort of imported in. But um, this is basically my main uh, Sims folder location. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to put a zero at the end of that. Just rename it and put a zero at the very end, okay? then go into users okay and go into your name and app data and there's a local and a roaming folder in there as well for lockheed martin and again place a zero at the end for both your local and your roaming folder just put a zero and you can put rename it to anything but you want to keep the lockheed martin intact then we go into program data and we do exactly the same thing. So that's four different folders that you've renamed and put like a zero or a one on the end, or you can put original or whatever you like really. Um, once you've done that, oh, and, and you could do it from the one in my documents, the add-ons, but it's not necessary. Um, so once you've done that, you wanna go into your program features here, okay? And you actually want to go to content, client, and scenery and right click on them and click repair now i'm not going to do it because i've already done it um so click repair let it run through its process when it finishes do it for clients and then do it for scenery done once you've done that 
If you go back into your uh, program files folder, you're going to find that you've actually now got another Lockheed Martin here. And, but it's not going to be a complete version. You're going to go in, and there's actually going to be half the files that you see here in this. Okay, And if you check the app data, roaming and local, and the program data, you're actually going to find that there's no Lockheed Martin there. So what we're going to do is load up the sim, and all you do is right-click, run on admin, and let it load up. Uh, you can even import your settings if you want from your original settings save folder um, and set up your graphic settings as well um, and then just go into the sim do like a quick flight you don't even have to do a flight just load into an airport and then close it down and then you'll find that you've got in app data or in program data you've got a new Lockheed Martin folder and in your app data folders that you'll have the same thing again now basically what you've got here is a default version of p3d version 4 uh, with no add-ons at all so it's going to load faster okay it's going to uh, perform a lot better because you're not running any add-ons um, and if you go and look in your scenery library you're gonna find that there's nothing there but default now you're thinking, well, what's the what's the good in this? Why am I doing this? Well, it means you can actually test, you can install add-ons safely, knowing that you're not actually harming your original sim folder. That nothing is going into them folders. It's all going into this newly, you know, created profile effectively, and uh, it's not harming your original sim. So if I wanted to test to make sure an add-on actually worked and, and wasn't buggy, I could load it into this new default one, check it out, and go, oh yeah, that looks good. And then all I have to do to get back to uh, my original sim is delete these folders. So delete that folder, go into program data, delete that folder, and rename as well. Take the zero. Once you've deleted the folder, take the zero off that and then go into uh, my name, app data, and go into local, you know, uh, find it. So delete that one, rename that one, take the zero off, go into roaming, do exactly the same, delete, take the zero off, and then um, run my sim, and I'll actually have the, the add-on working. Now, a little disclaimer first, which I didn't mention. Um, you want to uninstall your add-on first okay before you delete these folders okay make sure you uninstall the add-on first then do this deletion of folders that I've just said and then reinstall your add-on and it'll just reinstall to the same location um, and the same files will be there um, and then you can use your uh, add-on safely knowing that it's not going to crash your system knowing that it's not going to make you have to uninstall everything and reinstall everything because that's just such a pain when it happens so um let me know how you get on with that guys like does this really help you i mean i it helps me because that means i can now do beta testing on um p3d version 4 and it not affect my original setup because uh, P3D is very unstable, I feel, and when you compare it with other sims, and um, unless you've got it set perfectly, it's, uh, it's it can be a right spice to have to uninstall everything and reinstall everything just because of one simple scenery add-on. But um, I can now do beta testing for developers um, using this default sim profile setup that I've just got, knowing that it's not going to affect my original sim. And then if I want to fly in my original sim, I just delete these folders or rename them and take the zero off the original and then go fly and it's all back to normal. You know, um, it really does help me and I hope it helps you. Let me know in the comments if it does. Um, there's a whole list of videos of how to keep uh, your performance, your frame stable within P3D. Check them out. I'll link a few in below and I'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Bye.